Good afternoon, First Lutheran Facebook friends. Uh, Pastor Brian here. I'm a few minutes late to our noon prayer here on Wednesday, August 12th. And uh, I'm late because it's related to two big announcements I have I made on Sunday and through the mail. But uh, in case you're not on our mailing list and or didn't come to worship, then this would be news for you today. Uh, one is that First is going to be hosting a pastoral intern who's a student from Luther Seminary, but uh, uh, Tyler is his name, moved from Texas, and he will be uh, joining FIRST in September and will be with us for 20 months as a uh, uh, 15 to 20 hour week intern while he is continuing his seminary studies. Uh, so that's exciting, a nice uh, blessing for our faith community to be uh, sought out and invited to be part of his pastoral uh, formation. Uh, we will help Tyler craft his uh, pastoral voice and in, in so doing, Tyler will shape our faith community as well. So I'm excited to announce that, but that explains why I'm a few minutes late here, is I'm on uh, internship supervisor training this week on Zoom meeting. So I just popped off a screen a few minutes late, uh, and uh, uh, here I am to make that news announcement there. The second announcement is, this isn't as exciting as that, uh, but I think it's still an uh, opportunity for ministry. And that news is related to our historic bell tower. As you know, our building's 125 years this year, and we just had Part of our ongoing restoration efforts, uh, we requested that THP Engineering do an inspection of the main beams of the tower. Uh, we received early reports, but without getting underneath the sandstone to see the beams directly, reports of condition could not be offered on that. And this last week we received the uh, uh, unfortunate news that the main beams are uh, such corroded condition that uh, the recommendation is that uh, we should not be in the building for safety reasons and for structural reasons, uh, which are connected safety, of course, and that uh, uh, the upper portion of the tower should come down to the box beams and then at a future date then rebuilt. Uh, but most immediately it should come down. So we, as a leadership team at First Lutheran last Friday, voted to close First Lutheran, which uh, kind of, I don't know if there's any humor in this, but uh, we've already closed because of COVID, so now we're closed twice. Uh, but it made it a lot easier to make that decision to close because our calendar was not filled with events and ministry happening. Uh, we did do have uh, three couples who were hoping to have their wedding in September, October at the church, uh, albeit small reduced ones because of COVID you know, gathering restrictions. Uh, they have been gracious in receiving this news and uh, uh, we're hoping to find alternative locations for them to have their ceremony uh, since they can't gather inside first. Uh, we are actively engaged with contractors now and trying to see what it looks like because uh, even, even the decision to take the tower down is a challenging one because of accessibility to the tower recessed from the street and with the streetcar platform in front. Uh, not an easy task at hand before us. So prayers for safety for the workers, uh, those who will be around the tower, uh, and, and also wisdom and guidance for those making decisions on how to do that. Uh, we, uh, we trust, as I like to lift up now with this, with this, is that we have a God who is about resurrection, so in the midst of death, uh, coming down of a historic tower, uh, let that not discourage us, but may we be encouraged that Christ does work resurrection I'm confident there will be ministry opportunities that we could not have imagined before uh, because of, of this new path that God has uh, opened before us, albeit involving uh, the, the, the loss of our historic bell tower. With that, uh, those are two significant things. Of course, COVID-19 and its impact on our world. Uh, most specifically, the topic that many people are focused on is return to school for students, whether you're going to kindergarten or uh, college. Uh, and all points in between, it's, it's a concern for uh, faculty, staff, administrators, students, uh, parents, uh, parents who might be teaching from home. Uh, it is no small matter to be considering what's before us. And so we continue to lift up uh, those who are most directly affected with that. And of course we pray for those who continue these many, many, many months to work in the healthcare front lines caring for those with COVID. Uh, we pray for the ongoing work and research by scientists to come up with treatments, uh, a vaccine that's effective that will last, uh, uh, but we don't know the future. And so we, we in faith uh, go day by day and uh, support and walk with one another. 
these I need to jump back into my uh, Zoom meeting, uh, lest I be a negligent internship supervisor for Tyler. Uh, I want to do that best possible. So I'm going to move into our time of prayer. So the Lord be with you. Called into unity with one another and the whole creation, let us pray for our shared world. God of mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you. We have not loved our neighbor. We too often fail to put our trust in you. Forgive us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Tyler, who will be joining us as pastoral intern next month. Thank you for answering the call to ministry. Sustain him in this work. Encourage our community as we walk alongside him during this year, his years of training. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Last week we learned that our bell tower is not stable. We pray for safety as workers seek to take down the tower. We grieve this news. Yet we are confident that out of death you can work resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to seek your watchful care as students, teachers, administrators, and parents prepare for the start of a new school year. Give wisdom and compassion to all who are most directly affected. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of healing, we pray for those who suffer from physical, mental, and spiritual afflictions. We ask that you bring your healing to Chrissy, Kristen, Scott, Linda, AJ, Roger, Don, Joanne, and others we name at this time. Make your compassionate presence known to all who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Receive these prayers, O God, and those too deep for words. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining me this afternoon for an abbreviated time together for prayer. I trust uh, you will be faithful in your prayer as uh, the day goes on and the weeks go by as well. I uh, look forward to seeing you. I won't see you on worship on Sunday because uh, I will be off on Sunday, but Dan Potosnik uh, will be leading worship and preaching and uh, uh, has a good service planned for you. So hopefully you'll join him. Worship is at 11 o'clock on Sunday for live Zoom worship. Go in peace and share the love of God. Thanks be to God.